Hello, I'm Matthias for MamaWorld.com and in this tutorial I'll give you some tips for advanced screen inserts with Mocha and Mocha Import Plus in After Effects. You will learn how to do challenging tracks of reflecting surfaces, how to add depth of field to your corner pin and you will get some handy tips to refine your rotoscoping quickly. First, we send our clip from After Effects to Mocha. This screen is not easy to track since the hand is in front of the screen and even worse, a lot of reflections are moving on the screen surface. We draw a spline around the tablet PC that we want to track and add a second spline on the same layer to exclude the screen itself. By this, only the border of the tablet is tracked and not the misleading reflections. On a separate layer above the screen track, we also create a garbage mat for the hand, such that the hand is also excluded from the track. We ensure that perspective motion is enabled for the screen layer and start the track. During the track, we can keyframe the garbage mask when necessary. Now, we set our corner pin surface and choose a grid as the insert clip. This allows us to check the accuracy of the track. At these frames you notice that the track is still drifting. This is caused by the reflections of the hand in this area. Therefore we have to add another garbage mask for this area and retrack these frames. This time we make sure that the cork wheel is only enabled for the screen layer, such that only the screen layer is retracked. Now the track looks good. We copy the corner pin tracking data to the clipboard and switch to After Effects. We load the tracking data from the clipboard in Mocha Import Plus, drag our screen insert image in the composition and apply Mocha Import Plus's corner pin function to it. We choose the CC power pin or any other corner pin of your choice and select the option to generate expressions instead of keyframes. This allows us to easily reposition the corner pin surface and no matter where we place it, it always moves with the track. You can even keyframe it on top of the track and Mocha Import Plus will automatically tween between your keyframes. But this is not necessary in this case. To match the depth of field of the shot, we create a new solid, call it Depth Mat and apply a gradient ramp effect to it. We place the two ramp points so that we get a nice gradient from the far away left edge to the nearby right edge of the screen. Now we want this gradient to move with our screen. To achieve this, we choose the Move Properties function of Mocha Import Plus and apply it with the start and end point of the ramp selected. As with the corner pin, we choose the option to create expressions instead of keyframes, so that we can easily reposition the points later if needed. Now we pre-compose the depth mat and make sure to move all attributes in the new comp. This is necessary since we want to use the depth map in the camera lens blur effect and effects can never see the result of other effects in the same comp. By pre-composing we ensure that the gradient ramp effect is in the pre-comp so that it is also visible for the camera lens blur. We apply the camera lens blur to the corner pin layer, set the blur radius to something around 20 and choose the depth map layer as the blur map. Now we set the transfer mode of the corner pin to screen and lower the opacity to 90% so that the reflections of the original footage become visible on top of the new screen insert. Now we need to rotoscope the hand to place it in front of the screen. If the tablet was recorded with a green color in the display, 
we could also have tried to achieve this with a color key. But then we could not preserve the nice reflections on the screen that make our compositing more realistic. Therefore, I suggest to record your tablets or phones with the display turned off, so that you get the reflections that you can screen over the content you want to insert. In Mocha, we turn off the visibility of all existing layers and create new, accurate roto layers for the fingers and the hand. Instead of having one mask for the entire hand, we split the hand into individual masks for each part that moves independently, like each finger. Also make sure to order the mask layers so that the one being closest to the camera are the one at the very top. All of this makes the tracking more accurate and allows you to roto with less keyframes. Now we have a rotoscoping that is ok but not very accurate. We will fix this in a minute in After Effects. But before that we export the shape data of all visible layers to the clipboard. In After Effects we duplicate our background layer, call it Hand, and move it to the top. Now we go to the first frame and choose Edit Paste Mocha Mask. To make our mask more accurate, we apply the Refine Soft Matte effect to the layer. The default settings often work fine, but for this clip we also want to check more motion blur, since our hand is pretty blurred. We also set both Smoothness and Feather to 5 to soften the edge. Finally, we make our screen insert more interesting by letting it react to the touching finger. Note that the corner pin layer is a precomp. Mocha Import Plus creates such a precomp for the corner pin if the pinned image doesn't have the same size as your comp, since otherwise the tracking data would not be applied correctly. If your corner pin has no precomp, simply precompose the layer with the option to leave all attributes in the current composition. Now, when we open the precomp, we can arrange more images that appear or disappear when the finger touches the screen. Here is the final result. Thanks a lot to Pond5 for providing us with the footage for this tutorial. Again, I'm Matthias for MamaWorld.com and I'm looking forward to see you again in the next tutorial.